Hey everyone, I just wanted to take a minute and thank you all for tuning in these past 10 days as we visited our other locations. Today we will be visiting the Fulton location where we will get to meet the parts and service staff, see a few pictures of their location, and hear from one of our Fulton salesmen over the Massey Ferguson 4700 series. After that, you will also hear a short word from Agco about their global series platform. That would be your Massey Ferguson 4700, 5700, and 6700 series. Lastly, I wanted to remind you all that today is the last day of our 2021 Virtual Parts Days event and your last day to save 10% on parts at any of your local AC McCartney dealerships. Please be sure to stop by and catch that savings. And if you are using the ADCO Plus Rewards Program, make sure to sign up for your Smart Rewards. That is a 2% rebate back on all of your ADCO parts and service purchases. With that, let's hear from Fulton. I'm Cody Carson with AC McCartney Equipment, Fulton, Illinois. And this tractor is the 4710, which is the biggest one in the 4700 series that ranges from 70 horse up to 100 horse. That makes them the perfect tractors for any hay operation, small cattle operation, feed tractor. They're pretty versatile, you can push snow with them. Pretty much anything for townships and small hobby farms. Go back here. This one's a deluxe model, so it's got two hydraulic remotes. It's got a 4,850 pound lift on the three-point arms. This particular one is a 540 only tractor, but they have a 540,000 option. It has a folding wraps for if you gotta get in low buildings, such as this door here. It has the optional weight package back here for the FL 3615 loader that's got a 3,420 pound lift. Loader comes off with quick pins there and loader stands here. Your death fill is at ground level. Euro style quick patch bucket. You can remove the bucket with this handle here. You have your fuel fill at ground level, your block heater for winter applications. If you go up here with a deluxe model, you got the tilt steering wheel and the extra light package. And then this one features a 12 by 12 mechanical shift with a left hand shuttle shift. All your daily maintenance is near the ground, making an easy tractor service as well. Hello, my name is Zach Cagle. I'm the marketing product specialist for mid-range, utility, and high horsepower tractors. Today I want to show you around the 47, the 57, the 67 Global Series platform tractors. These tractors are real workhorses. As we look at them today, you'll notice that they're all built very heavy duty. In fact, some of them are over-engineered in the best possible way. The 4700 Global Series uses a 3.3 liter Agco power engine. The 57 and the 67 both run a 4.4 liter Agco power engine. The 4700 is made up of four models. The 4707 at 70 horsepower, the 4708 at 80. 
the 4709 at 90, and the 4710 at 100 engine horsepower. The 5700 series features a 5710 at 100 horsepower, a 5711 at 110 horsepower, while the 6700 series features two models, one at 6712, which is 120 engine horsepower, and the 6713 at 130 engine horsepower. All three tractors utilize a SCR system, which is deaf fluid. They also use a diesel oxidation catalyst. The only tractor out of the lineup that doesn't use this system is the 4707. It utilizes a diesel oxidation catalyst and external gas recirculation to meet Tier 4 final emissions requirements. The Global Series tractors come standard with a 12x12 hydraulic shuttle transmission. The 12x12 transmission features a high and a low. Each side has six gears. So on the high side, you've got six gears, and on the low side, you've got six gears. The hydraulic shuttle on these tractors is all the same. You're able to shuttle forward or shuttle backwards and never touch the clutch, making loader work or just going forward and, and working out in the barnyard a breeze. You never have to use the clutch to change direction. These tractors are super easy to use. They can be set up in low profile configurations with lower, lower to the ground tires where we can make it into orchards, vineyards, and all kinds of things where low clearance is needed. Also, the 4700 is a great poultry tractor if we set it up with low profile configuration. You can pull a lit litter windrower in there or a better, whatever we need to do to maintain those chicken houses. The Global Series is also great for hay production. We can put these tractors out into hay production. They're great uh, for pulling round balers, rakes, tedders, mowers. Depending on the horsepower requirement you need, we can go from 70 all the way up to 130. Let me tell you about the front axle on the Global Series. All three series run a Dana front axle. These axles are built very heavy duty, whether it be heavy work with a front end loader or we need to ballast them heavy on the front end. Our front axle is heavy duty. We don't have to worry about it giving us issues. Also a nice thing about the front axle on the Global Series is the maneuverability of the tractor. The turning radius is great on these tractors, so when we're working around the barn or we're in a tight area, we can turn that tractor around on a dime. Global Series tractors can be equipped with or without a loader. We offer several different loader options for our Global Series tractors. We offer an X-Series, which is our medium-duty loader. The X-Series can be uh, equipped with a non-self-leveling system or a self-leveling system, your preference. We also offer an FL-Series loader for our Global Series. The FL-Series loader is a heavy-duty loader. It also comes standard with soft drive. Soft drive is going to help you when you're carrying heavy loads across a pasture or down the road. It will provide just a little bit of shock as you're going across the pasture, meaning less bumpiness on your tractor and your front axle. All of these loaders can be equipped with or without a third function. So if you want to run a grapple or a bell squeeze or anything that requires hydraulic flow to the front of your loader, we can equip your loader with a third function diverter valve. Out of the three series of tractors, the 4700 has a slightly different platform. It's mounted just a little bit lower, meaning that we have a semi-flat platform with a hump in the middle. Whereas here you see the 57 and 6700 series have a fully flat platform. Our Global Series all have a common dash and steering wheel column. They all feature tilt steering. They also have the left hand power control lever with the ability to adjust shuttle aggressiveness here. So if we're going forward and we get ready to go in reverse, we throw it in reverse, this is how we adjust how quickly or how slowly we change directions. We also have our throttle here on the right hand, our headlights and work lights here, our flashers, and our machine information readout buttons. The 57 and 6700 series feature the same right hand control panel. Here we have our three point up and down switch. We have our draft control, we have our rate of drop, and we also have our maximum height here. Over here you'll be able to control the position of your three-point linkage. Then we have our PTO, on, off, and brake. This is our differential lock. 
and our four-wheel drive engagement. Here we have our two rear remote controls. Here we have our 540, 540E, and 1000 PTO control. And here we have our 26 gallon per minute hydraulic combining switch. This is our one through six gear selector, as well as our D-clutch button. This really helps out when roading tractors or working in the field. Let's say we're in first gear and we're ready to change to second gear. We don't have to press the clutch with our left foot. All we have to do is press the D-clutch button, pull the gear selector into second gear, let off the D-clutch button, and the tractor will grab another gear. Now let me show you the right-hand control panel on the 4700 Global Series. Here we have our draft control. Here we have our three-point position control. Next we have our four-wheel drive switch, our differential switch, and our PTO on and off. If we push it forward, it's on. If we go to the middle position, it's off. And if we rock it all the way back, the brake is applied. Here we have our two rear remote controls. And just like the 57 and 6700 series, we have our one through six gear selector. It also has a D-clutch button on the left-hand side here. So let's say we're in first gear and we get ready to change to second gear. We don't have to press the clutch with our left foot. All we have to do is reach up, hold the D-clutch button down, pull the tractor into second gear and let off and we'll grab into that next gear. At the rear of the 4700 series, you'll notice a few things. You'll notice a heavy-duty three-point link system. You'll also notice a heavy-duty drawbar and a 540, 1000 PTO option or the 540, 540E PTO option. Up here, you'll notice that with the platforms, you get two rear remotes standard. We also offer an optional third remote. The 4700 series features 17.1 gallons per minute of flow to the rear remotes or your front loader. On the three-point linkage, we have extendable link ends, making it easy to hook and unhook equipment. Also on the fender, we have external three-point lift controls, making it easy to hook and unhook mounted three-point equipment. The 57 and 6700 Global Series tractors share a very similar rear end. They both feature 26 gallons per minute of hydraulic flow to the rear remotes and the front loader. That's achieved with two high pressure pumps, one at 11 gallons per minute and the other at 15 gallons per minute. If the two pumps aren't combined, 11 gallons per minute goes to our three point hitch and 15 gallons per minute goes to our rear hydraulics and our front loader. When we combine those two, two pumps with the switch up on the platform there, we get 26 gallons per minute to our rear remotes or our front loader, making it possible to power any implement behind us and also making our loader much, much quicker. Next thing I'll point out is our heavy duty three-point lift cylinders. The 57 and 67 have a little bit larger. They go from 65 millimeters on the 47 to 75 millimeters on the 57 and 6700 series, giving you more lift capacity and more power to get the job done. You'll also notice a little bit heavier link arms on the 57 and 67 as compared to the 4700 series, along with a much heavier drawbar system on the 57 and 6700 Global Series tractors. The 57 and 6700 Global Series come with a 540, 540E, and 1000 PTO. While the 4700, you have to choose between a 540, 540E, or a 540, 1000 PTO. All three of the Global Series, the 47, 57, and 67, come standard with rear-mounted three-point fender controls. So when you back up to your three-point implement, and let's say you don't get it just right and you get off the tractor, you can reach up here and simply raise or lower your three-point lift arms to match your implement perfectly, making hooking and unhooking implements a breeze. The Massey Ferguson 4700, 5700, and 6700 Global Series platforms are great all-around tractors. They're heavy built and they're up for any task you can throw at them. If you want to learn more about the Global Series, I encourage you to visit your local Massey Ferguson dealer or go to masseyferguson.us.